You know what the worst thing about cancer is? The fact that one in two of us might develop it at some point in our lives? The fact that there's over 200 different types? Arguably, but for me, it's mostly to do with the fact that it's not really anything to do with robots. Today I aim to change this, whilst also hopefully telling you a little bit about a pretty cool new treatment being developed here in the UK. Now I know this is meant to be the sciencey bit, so I'm not going to stand here and pretend I know anything about science. Well, actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. But I'm going to attempt to use some exciting and ridiculous analogies to hopefully make it A, easier to understand, and B, more to do with robots. Now, it's kind of hard to imagine what we're talking about when we discuss cancer. So for today, I want you to imagine that cancer is a 300-foot tall, armor-clad automaton rampaging across downtown Tokyo. I think this makes a lot of sense. Let's first talk about one of the most common ways to treat cancer today, chemotherapy. Chemotherapy works by circulating drugs through the body that disrupt the out-of-control growth of cancer cells. In our analogy, chemotherapy will be represented by an intercontinental ballistic missile. Now, as you can see, the method is highly effective, which is why it's used so often. One of the side effects of this treatment, however, is that it can end up destroying healthy cells in the process. If only there was a way of being more specific with how these drugs targeted cancer cells. Well, there isn't. So, shame. That's a lie, obviously. It's the whole point of video. That's why we're doing this. So, imagine if instead of a gigantic missile, we used a fleet of highly sophisticated drones packed with explosives. Not only do the drones know where to find the robot, they can also latch themselves onto it undetected. Once the robot has its guard down, they release their explosive payload. This maximizes robot destruction, leaving Tokyo mostly unscathed. Of course, all of Japan are overjoyed. They throw the drones a congratulatory parade, elect one of the drones their prime minister, and live in a peaceful, killer robot-free society from then on. Pretty cool, right? Now, at this point you might be thinking, what? The drones were confusing. Why was there a parade? I thought this was meant to be a video about cancer treatment. And you'd be right to think that, because I'm terrible at analogies. So this is essentially the technology that's being developed by some of Stand Up To Cancer's expert scientists. Using nanotechnology, the team are creating tiny cancer hunting packages loaded with chemotherapy drugs. Molecules on the outside of the packages allow them to anchor onto the cancer cells, wait until the opportune moment, and then kick them in the metaphorical face when they're least expecting it. If the team is successful, this could be a fresh new approach to cancer treatment that minimizes damage to healthy cells. Now, that was a lot to get through, so if you only take one thing away from this video, let it be this. Fear the robot uprising. It is coming, and it will be an unimaginable apocalypse of emotionless destruction. 